Hi, almost second graders. Today in our video, we are going to continue working on our stories. So all of you should have already filled in my story planning chart, this sheet right here after our video last week. So hopefully all of you came up with some great ideas. I wanted to share with you before we move on to today's lesson, the thoughts that I had for the story that I'm gonna create. I'm gonna create one just like you guys. Okay, so for my character or characters, I filled in, I thought about it long and hard, and for some reason the circus popped into my mind. So I decided my characters are going to be a juggling family, a family that's part of the circus and their job is the juggling act. Uh, so I have Mr. Pavlov, Mrs. Pavlov, their son Max, who's going to be my main character, his sister Sophia, and like I said, the setting is going to be the circus. It's going to take place at the circus. My problem, well, I said that Max is going to be my main character, so he's the one who has the problem. Max couldn't juggle which is a big deal when you come from a family of all jugglers, that's their job. The solution that I thought about might be a good solution for Max not being able to juggle is that Max found something that he was good at. So it's gonna be interesting how that kind of develops as I write my story. All right, so to help me, remember we talked about we need to figure out a way to get from the problem to the solution. All right, so we are going to look at our second chart that's going to help us with that process. Okay, so this is called the story palette. Okay, so this is the sheet that I'm going to be showing you today how to fill out to kind of help guide us when we're finally sitting down to write our story. It kind of gives us an idea where are we going to start and where are we going to finish? Okay. So I created a big chart with the same idea, nine boxes for us to fill in. So there will be a chart for you to write the characters, which when I fill in on this chart, I'm not going to have as much detail as I had on my planning chart. I'm just going to probably put the Pavlov family we're also going to put the setting, which I can just write the circus real quick, and a quick problem and a solution. That way I have everything on the same page. But what this sheet has that the other one didn't is, what am I gonna start my story with? Then I have three sections that focus on the middle of the story. And then I have one section that helps me figure out, okay, how is the story going to end? Okay, so for my characters, like I said, I will have the Pavlov family. So those will be the main characters. I'm already thinking, since I don't have the whole story complete in my mind yet, I might have some extra characters along the way, but my main characters in the story are the Pavlov family. So don't think that you can't include other characters along the way. All right, so the setting, like I said, I'm just going to write the circus. All right, my problem was Max can't juggle. Okay. Then my solution my solution is Max. Let me grab my other sheet. I didn't have it on this one. Um found something he was good at. are directly from my 
my story planning chart. Okay. So now, as I was thinking about filling in my beginning, the three middle sections, and the end, what I did was I filled in the beginning first. Next, I filled in the end of how I think the story will begin, how I think the story will end. After that, I filled in the middle sections, okay? So this is what I was thinking about the beginning of the story. So Max is turning eight, and that's a big deal. Okay, he must join the juggling show. All right, so Max is turning eight years old and he must join the juggling show. So that's how I'm going to start my story. Now, how am I going to end my story? My thought is, Max is in a circus show. Okay, so I'm not saying that he's in the juggling show, he's just in one of the shows. So now as I think about how I will um, write my story to get to this part, I'll write my first middle section. All right, so I know that he's turning eight and then he must join the show, the juggling show. And like I said earlier, the problem is he can't juggle, right? So I'm going to start with Max. Tried juggling many items. He tried everything. And nothing worked. So here is where I introduce to my readers, this is the problem. This is the problem we have in the story that Max has. And by the end of the story, we're going to have a solution to that problem. All right, so after that, I thought, you know what? A new family is going to join the circus. So I'm just gonna write in this sec section that Max saw the new trampoline act. So this was very exciting for him that he's from this juggling family. He has to join the circus because he's turning eight years old, but he can't juggle. No matter how hard he tries, he can't juggle. But then, a new family comes and they have an act on the trampoline. He's really interested in this. All right, so now I have to think, how am I gonna get from this that he sees the trampoline act and now he's going to be in the circus show? Okay, so I'm gonna say Max practice on the trampoline uh, he was great he found something that he was really good at remember that was my solution and then I'm also going to include here that his dad saw him, okay? And I'm 
going to include in my story how proud his dad was of him, that he knew how hard his son worked and he was trying to juggle, he was working so hard, but he just didn't have that talent. But then it turns out that he had a different talent and that's okay. That's who Max was. All right, so that is how I'm moving from the beginning of my story all the way to the end. But during that process, I'm going to introduce what the problem was that I came up with on my first sheet and the solution that I also came up with. Okay, so this might be an easy process for you. It might be a little bit more difficult and that's okay. So if you are struggling with getting from one point to the end, just putting all your thoughts together, have mom or dad um, help you a little bit or I'll tell you a secret. If you say to mom, can I call Mrs. Purcell and see if she can help me get from the beginning all the way to the end, you're allowed to, okay? I will let mom and dad know. The entire day for this lesson, I will have my phone right next to me and you can call me and I will help you walk through the whole process of preparing your story because I know this can be kind of difficult. Some of you I know have written stories before, but not everybody has, okay? So I can't wait to potentially hear from a few of you and be able to help some of you. And then my next video will be me sharing the story that I finally put together after I put all my notes together. So I'm going to write my um, final draft. And then after that, all of you will put your entire story together. And I can't wait to see that final product. All right, so have fun guys. And I might hear from you, I might not, but uh, work hard and I'll hopefully talk to all of you soon. Bye.